if you want to study natural sciences at Cambridge University, you will have to sit the Natural Sciences Admissions Assessment or NSAA. This is a relatively new assessment because they've only been doing it since 2016 because AS levels were scrapped then. You'll be sitting it on the 5th of November in 2020 if that's when you're applying and you should make sure your school has registered you before the 15th of October. You'll probably sit the exam at your school or sometimes at another facility. This is a hard exam but the main reason it is hard is just timing. The questions can be tricky, but the time you're given is not very much per question, and that's what made it very hard for me. Cambridge says that the average applicant gets about 50% of the marks, so if you're not doing well, don't worry, that's normal. The 2020 format is the following. There are two sections called sections one and two. Each is 60 minutes long, and you'll sit them on the same day, and they are all multiple choice questions. For the first paper, there are four sections and you need to do two of those four sections. One of the sections is maths and you have to do that, but the other section can be either chemistry, biology, or physics, and you choose which one. Each section has 20 questions, so in total that's 40 multiple choice questions in 60 minutes, so about one and a half minutes per question. For the second paper, there are three sections and you choose to do one. Once again, the sections are chemistry, biology, or physics, but no maths this time. And each section has 10 multiple choice questions, but they are longer questions. On average, that works out to six minutes per question. Now that you know the format, I can tell you how to prepare. First of all, decide which questions you want to do. Obviously, you'll have to do the maths questions in the first paper, but you can choose to do either physics, biology, or chemistry in the second half of the first paper and in the second paper. I can imagine that you'll choose to do the same subject in the first paper as the second paper, and that'll probably be the same subject you're planning on specializing in. For example, I applied for biological natural sciences, which is why I answered the biology questions. Once you know which questions you want to answer, look at the specification link in description. The specification will tell you what the paper assumes you know, and you need to go through the specification and make sure you know everything that it mentions. If you don't know anything, take a note and learn it. Most of the content is AS content, but some of it might be A2 content. But in general, I think it's a very good idea to go through A2 content in preparation for both the admissions assessment, but also for your interview. Another very important thing that you should do is look at the past papers. Try all the questions, and at first, focus on just understanding the questions and getting the right answer. Don't worry about time or exam technique. But once you're comfortable answering the question, then focus on exam technique and doing it in exam conditions. Keep in mind that the format of the assessment has changed in 2020, as you can see in this table, but the past papers are still very useful for you. If you've done all the past papers and you don't know what else to do, try looking for similar A-level exam past papers because they might have similar questions. If you want to help with revision and studying, please look at my video for that. Basically, make sure to not cram but spread out your revision. Use digital flashcards like Anki, which use spaced repetition. Don't do passive revision like reading. Take regular breaks like even every 20 minutes and stay healthy. On the day of the exam you want to be well rested and fresh so don't go to bed late trying to revise. If you insist on revising do it in the morning and not the night before. In the exam itself don't spend too much time on an individual question and move on. You can come back to it later maybe. Also keep in mind that the questions do seem to get harder as you go further. I'm planning on making a video where I go through some of the questions and past papers. I haven't decided which questions or which past paper to do so if you have any suggestions please comment them below. I can do the chemistry, biology and maths questions but unfortunately I cannot do the physics questions. I don't know how I did in the entrance exam because you don't get your results back. I actually emailed my college after I got my offer saying how did I do in my interview and my assessment but they replied saying we're not going to tell you because we don't think it's useful for you to know. But they did say that because I got an offer, I probably did well, but I don't know for sure. I actually replied to this email two and a half years later, like last week, saying, can you please tell me now? But unfortunately, they have not replied yet. What I can tell you, though, is that I did kind of fail the maths questions because what I did is I spent a lot of time on the chemistry and biology sections but because of that, I barely any time to go through the math questions and I attempted something like a quarter of all the math questions. I was comfortable doing this because I had done maths A-level in year 12 and I was doing further maths in year 13, so I didn't feel as if I needed to prove that I could do maths. I guess this tactic paid off for me, but I'm not encouraging you to do this because it is risky and there's no guarantee that it will work for you. Anyway, thanks for listening. If you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, whatever, just comment them, I'll get back to you. And yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.